Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we'll be talking about doing a Catello restore. Um, basically we went through the maintenances on how to create a backup. Now we're actually going to go through and actually do a restore uh, of the Catello system itself. Uh, one of the biggest things that you need to understand about this is whatever your build is, that's how you have to rebuild the system if you're going to do it that way. Uh, for instance, here it's version 1.24.2. So you'd want to build up the system as a 124.2 system. Uh, another thing is you want to make sure you use the same uh, username uh, for admin. Um, and then after that, I think it, I haven't really done any tests to make sure, but it should uh, erase that if, say, you did use the wrong uh, password and stuff like that from the backup itself. Uh, but once you have the Catello system up and running, uh, I can log into this one real quick. You know, no host is basically a, a blank system, um, just waiting for uh, the restore to happen. Um, so the next step we're actually going to do is we're actually going to restore it. Uh, where this was backed up was in a temp location. Um, so we'll need to make sure that we point to that temp location uh, on our uh, system itself. So, okay, now we're going to restore this backup with a foreman maintenance. Or maintain and then we're going to restore and then where our file is located temp backups and then I believe it's the date Catello directory so there we go there's our backup we're going to now restore that Um, so it is checking to make sure it's root, it's confirming, dropping the database, running and restore. So it'll drop and restore your database and your existing installation will be replaced with a backup database. Once this operation is completed, there is no going back. So this is pretty much a blank system. So it either works or it doesn't work. So it really is uh, uh, fine for that matter. Well, this is uh, doing uh, this. I also want to let you know that if you're running in a, a virtual environment, or something like that you know you can also create this into a template or you know possibly make a uh, a backup of the actual vm itself um therefore you wouldn't have to actually do a restore from uh the database or you could have it a much smaller uh restore process for this um this is pretty much from you know bare bones you know build it all the way up and then restore um, but if you're using uh, VMware and Veeam or some other type of backup of the VM, then you should be able to restore from that uh, VM. If it's a physical box, then you're going to have to do it this way. You're going to have to build up, make sure it's the same version. You know, make sure you have the backup file. Uh, another thing is once you do create backups, make sure you put them off into a location that is not part of that box, just in case that box does get corrupt. Um, so this is going through the uh, restore procedure. Uh, it'll take some time, so I'll try to uh, speed through this as fast as I can, and we'll go from there. Okay, looks like it's finished. Um, we will check to see if we have the information that was no longer there, and we will minimize this. Okay, we will minimize this, and we'll check to see if we have a host now. Okay, it looks like we have all of our host. So it looks like the backup completed successfully. I'm not seeing any issues here. Um, we've got our content as well, it looks like. Repos. Everything looks good. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 1000 mark. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.